Oh, what is Kimson doing? Nice, nice face, by the way. Yeah, she wants people to be happy, but she, Kimson is breaking everything. Look at him! Welcome back, everyone. And uh, today we are gonna watch Ragnar Kimson episode 8, I believe. This is the aftermath of whatever happens with Ragnar against Ultimatia. So <laughs> it was a pretty one-sided battle, of course, until she used the very overpowered spell that, you know, turns the, the past or turns the present into the past or rewind the present. <laughs> I don't know. But in any case, we are now at a point where Ragnar cannot do anything anymore and uh, Crimson went to save him. Again, he's, she's basically trying to survive against Nebulim and uh, the, um, the dragon guy, right? Because she cannot do anything anymore. Ultimatia, she's very scared of Ragnar now. Pretty, pretty big PTSD, right? <laughs> I guess. But okay. If you are here for the second time, please subscribe. We have a goal 500. It's crazy. And uh, let's get into it. There you go, this is where we are. We use the light, and Kimzon is here to save us now. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Now she's so scared, look at her. She has utmost confidence in her own time magic, yep. Not against Ragnar. <laughs> Literally shattered, yep. She's merely a woman petr petrified of battle. Yeah, <laughs> Crimson. Now is your only chance. Ah, oh, she's so scared of Ragna. Fall seal. Oh, what is Crimson doing? Nice, nice face, by the way. Yeah, she wants people to be happy, but she, Crimson is breaking everything. Look at him. Ooh, her in this case. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Crimson. See, they are breaking her, literally. Oh, all those bad emotions, right? Death, ambition, uh, despair, destruction. I love Crimson, bro. Your false compassion, yep. Exactly. Listen to the scream of the dying. Oh, so compassionate, Dragon Monarch. Oh my god. I mean, Crimson doesn't care about people of free, obviously, but... Use it? Wait, is she gonna rewind time? Again? She's gonna lose mana again. Yeah. Thank god for Nebulim, huh? Yep. Nice. She has a high position in the dragon monarchy, but... A hierarchy, sorry. But... She's pretty... Yeah. She's not on the smart side, right? Or she can't adapt into battles, I guess. <laughs> Boom! Ah, golem. Yeah? <laughs> Enjoy visiting, really? Oh, the value of life changes based on the situation. More sensational and fatal. Wow, she's not wrong, though. Ah. I don't think so, though. Nebulim was still right at the end of the day, right? Her dying would be good for us, of course. I thought it wasn't like you. <laughs> I don't think meeting Ragnar has changed anything, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, look at them. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Do what you're supposed to do. Yep. That's a nice place. Yeah, you died and did nothing. Powerless and worthless. 
It's hard now, bro. Don't worry. You are just like the others. You got destroyed like the others. Or you can evolve when you are a dragon. Or immature dragon. So I guess Nebulim is immature right now. When there is some an explanation like this, it's always when there is going to be an evolution in anyone. So... Wow, she's something right now, for sure. Exactly. But it's because he wasn't here, exactly. Yeah, he's evolving, look at this. Wow. The voice changed and everything. Did he actually evolve right now? Oh, it's a glimpse of the potential. Oh, he's looking for you. Wow, that's gonna be bad, right? The outcome exceeded my expectations. Oh, the next few years. Oh, we are changing countries right now. Oh, Aida is uh, waking up. Oh, I guess they have different intuition, intelligence, strengths. Of course, right? Makes sense. Because they used to be humans. So it just makes sense that they are different in their dragon form, I guess, right? Fun to face off with a super dragon. Yeah, she tried and she almost died. She actually died in a different world. Yeah, I don't know about that one. What's gonna happen with Aida though? Nice. <laughs> yeah, the look on her face, it was something, alright. You can't do anything right now, Aina. Oh! Wow, I mean, you can't... Yeah, just... Ah, oh, there is a small crack! Oh no, did they find them? Because of the crack? That's insane. Yeah, Crimson, time to fight. Oh. Oh. Nah, he's not dead. He's gonna be fine. Oh. What is Raina than I do? <laughs> is he actually gonna destroy the room? Who was the girl though? Oh, if we can have some backstory on Crimson, that would be interesting now. I'm dreaming, yep. Looks like you're doing something. Oh. She used to be called Crimson as well. A long time ago, okay. Who is she though? No, do we have new new characters? Disturbed, huh? Oh yeah, what happened to the super dragons? She's very interesting. She has no arms, by the way. Wait, she's eating dragons? Interesting. Oh, are we gonna follow Crimson and Ragna now? Maybe they moved in. Or maybe it's someone completely different, right? Oh! Okay, so Crimson is here. Oh, yeah, so we don't. We are not moving out of the country. The most aggravating woman? Who is she? That's her, right? Yeah, okay. It is I. She looks very obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. Fu? <laughs> oh, that's his name, Fu? Okay. Fu is his name? 
Wait, so he's in man form right now? That's meat, dragon meat. Wait, can she even eat dragon food? Oh, dragon meat, I guess. Yeah, this one is a bit on the cookie side, huh? Yeah, clearly. Born with no arms. Yeah. The Silverware Princess. Now that's a bad name. Half the world knows her. I mean, she's doing things like Leo, right? I guess she's a prodigy like Leo is. The silver equipment. She's a master craftswoman. Oh, she's 16 now. Oh! Nice eyes. Oh, people can't lie to her, right? I'm assuming. Our oh, lies will not fool me. Okay. Let's see if you can do it, Crimson. The human body? Oh, you have to control your aura, right? Oh my god, yeah, this is basically like a light detector, right? She's thinking! Oh, he is thinking right now. Nice. Wow, Crimson is smart, he can do it for sure. Yep. She's a dragon, right? For sure, right? A tomaturge. Okay. Okay, so since the episode is over now, we are gonna jump into the manga. We're gonna read the. the scans that are with the, the current episode, so episode 8. And if you want to skip those, you can just go to the outro. Or if you want to just leave right now, you can. So it is up to you. Wow, okay, so wait, Crimson saw the, that the world was was um, like turned back, right? Artemisia, there you go. The world's time was just turned back. Artemisia used her trump card. Time is about to be frozen, let's move. There is no time to explain. I like this, that we see what's happening. Right? So they were frozen. And now she's no longer the king of ki the king of wings, just a frightened girl afraid of violence. Look at this, she's shook. I like this. If this vessel manages to catch up with its own strength, then the bloodline of wings won't pose even the tiniest bit of threat any longer. What will you do now, frightened girl? Your chances of finishing off your natural nemesis has just officially dropped to a zero. Yep, and there you go, we have the Nebulim saying, no, don't do anything, do not rewind time, or you're gonna die. And then the, uh, <laughs> she changed faces, of course. Yep, don't do anything. Look, this is, this is the, the, thumbnail, the thumbnail I'm gonna use. They, the, those two faces here, they are crazy. It seems like I was worrying over nothing, you are still the same tyrannical monster of a boss I know. This is how it should be. He matured just a bit. He was already matured. It was instant. So he has a lot of potential, I guess, right? But he was still one-shotted by Ragnar, like by a long shot as well, right? Like, boop, just destroyed. That's uh, pretty interesting. Now we have this, this form. Look at him. Yep. We will not escape. I and Ephilim will find you. Crimson. We woke up in the, in the room as well. There you go. Don't move. Oh, see? We, are, we can actually see them right now. This unit is, yep, the silver equipment. Wait, it's not Fu, it's Fu Wei. Fu Wei. I don't know if you, how you say this, but the Silver Armaments Magic Army Division General. Fu Wei. There you go. Oh, we actually have the names of everyone right now. Lee's Army Major, Silver Armaments Army Corps Advisor, Isaac Stan. Isaac Stan, sorry. Wow. The Solar Church is recognized as the, potential, as the potential miracle sent to this world by the Sun God. Her name is greatly renowned throughout the world and tales of her endeavors are numerous. We have all the age. I am Krish Vyas. I will employ all of my tricks to fool the eyes of the Silverware Princess, a magic warrior. 
Okay, well, that's the end of the chapters. We saw chapter uh, 16 and 17, and then we saw episode 8. Very interesting. I like the, the beginning of the episode. We got the aftermath of um, the fight. Crimson was very, very close to actually killing her. Uh, thank God for Nebulim. He actually saved her in multiple ways, and he was able to find and destroy... Uh, I guess it's Ragnar that, that um, destroyed the room, right? the teleportation room, but he still find it. So that's pretty nice as well. And now we are in a new place, so we are still in the same country, but we are in a different zone where we have this uh, silverware princess now, and we have to basically try and lie to her without uh, failing. Otherwise, we are basically dead, right? Even though I think Crimson can actually do something, I wonder if Crimson is strong enough to like, kill them, right? Or survive. I don't know how, how, like, how strong Crimson is. It would be nice to, to know as well, because I think he's one of those uh, dragon monarchs as well. Very interesting episode, of course. I believe that the next episode is going to be still about this, uh, this princess, and I hope we are going to see Ragna as well. I want to see if he's uh, getting uh, better. Hopefully he can like, you know, control his powers, and that should be interesting as well. In any case, if you like the video, like the video, leave a comment as well. If it's your second time here, please subscribe. We have a goal, 500, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.